Hello, my name is Steve Hermitage and in this video we're going to take a look at some bubble shots. Okay, let me walk you through the first setup. I've got my camera mounted on a tripod. I'm going to fire the camera using a cable release. And I've got my flash gun mounted off camera. Now, I'm using a Canon 580EX. I'm using it at one eighth of a power. And I've mounted the Canon uh, Speedlight in this Blasterlite Easybox. Now, that's got a diffuser on the front and it's going to send some diffused light onto the bubbles. The camera is fitted with a 105mm macro lens and I'm going to focus, uh, I'm manually focus during the course of these bubble shots. I can manually focus because it's going to enable me to focus really quickly uh, before the bubbles burst. The camera is also set up on manual. I'm using uh, 1 200th of a second shutter speed to sync with the flash gun and I'm going to use a range of apertures. I'm starting off with f16 and I'll probably vary that during the course of the shoot. Okay I'm going to bring you closer now and show you some techniques with how to create some bubbles. So for the first shots uh, my softbox is set just behind the bubbles that are just here. I'm going to bring you a bit closer and show you the bubbles. Okay here's so the bubble mixture then. Bubble mixture is made of water, it's made of fairy washing up liquid. There's a big squirt of that fairy washing up liquid in there and I've also added some black food colouring to that mixture. So in short this mixture is very soapy and very black and will stain a dining room table and my wife has now warned me that if I knock this over I'm unlikely to ever make any more YouTube videos again. So I'm going to be very careful with this. Now the second careful tip is when you're blowing the bubbles is not to then suck because I know from personal experience actually that isn't um, isn't that nice. When you've got some bubbles like this, here's a little technique, you can put your straw into some of the bubbles and just blow again and you'll end up with a big bubble and that's really great for taking some of the uh, coloured bubble shots that, I see, that, I've, uh, that I'm going to show you later on. How do we get the really swirly colours? Well what you can do is very lightly blow onto that bubble there like that and you will see quite if you look quite closely um, you'll see swirls of colour and it's those swirls of colour that we can capture later on in some of the images. Oh, oh, okay, so there we go. You can get rid of the bubbles that way. You can scoop them off of the surface to get a nice black colour. So I've got a black, black, black piece of cardboard here just behind the black bubble mixture. That'll all end up merging together and all I'll be left with is the coloured bubble shop. So we're going to take some coloured bubble shops now and see what you think. Good luck with your, um, good, with your bubble shops and don't forget, don't smell the mixture. Thank you.